Hey guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be planning in my classic happy planner for the week of January 27th through February 2nd. So if you want to see what I do there, stick around. I'm here in my classic happy planner. This is my wellness planner and I am digging into the Coco Daisy stickers once again for the last time this month. I've been loving these and thought I would do a layout in my classic with Coco Daisy and let's get started. So what I thought I would do is just create a whole stationary planner kind of themed layout. So I'm going to use some pencils and some clips and these highlighters. And let's just see what we can do to make it fun and interesting. But before I do this, I'm going to grab some washi tape and cover the peach lines because really these colors honestly don't go with peach at all. And this planner has a lot of peach. So we're just gonna cover those up and I don't know, should I use a color or should I use black and white? I am torn, but we gotta cover it up with something. I could just go back to like the classic striped black and white, which is always a good option, or the polka dot would be fun. Where is that? I think I have a black and white polka dot or maybe I imagined that. I don't know. I mean, there's this little one, but I thought I had like a big one. Or I might not. Do you see I have that gray one? I thought I had one that was in black, but I think I'm mistaken. So let's go ahead and put some of this striped washi tape down. Okay, so there's a lot of stripes here. I'm not sure I like that. It's a little busy, but let's just go with it and see what happens. First thing I thought I would do is take these cute little highlighters and all right, it says Monday through Sunday at the top of the page. I know the days, even if it didn't say Monday through Sunday, I would know which days they were. That's not the point of this. The point is to be cute. So yeah, let's be cute and put them on each day. And I think I'm just going to like not put them on the same line, but put them sort of up and down. Okay, so I'm not sure that the color combos here, I'm not sure I like this next to that, but that's how it was laid out. So that's what we're gonna do. So the next thing, and again, this is my wellness planner. So I journal in here, it's like journaling. So I can, excuse Allie in the background, Sorry. kissing Bumble like nonstop, okay. So I can kind of like bring in a lot of decorative aspects in this planner, but also I want to leave room for writing, obviously. So this is the same color as this pencil. So let's bring this color from this side of the page and pop it over here on this side of the page, just so we have a balance, because that's important for like design wise, you know? So let's put it right under notes here. There's nothing cuter than like a pencil sticker, a big pencil sticker, oh my gosh. I know you guys have heard me gush over the Coco Daisy products before, but I'm gushing again because they are the cutest. These are cute, look. Look at these little guys. So they have these little clips and then a tiny little sticker for whatever. I can put a little uh, motivational word on it, you know? I can do whatever I want. I'm just gonna pop that down right there. And then I'm gonna use a couple more of those, stick them around the page. Probably not this color, cause I don't have that color in it. I might change my mind about that, but this is green and there's green on this side. So we're gonna put the green over here, which I don't, hmm. Can you that right there? Thank you. Should I do the same thing like that? Mm -hmm. And then I could bring the yellow of this over here. Does that make sense? I think so. Cute. Cute. Okay, so what else do we have here? Well, 
I've got these. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. I mean, I was going to put like trash day and stuff. This isn't my regular planner. It's my journaling planner. So I don't like that idea. There are some box stickers in here. Or I could bring in some happy planner boxes. I like box stickers. I think we need them. But there's these. I don't know. Like that one. The problem is like this is like a to-do list and this, what is, this is planner for? it's my journaling planner. It's like my wellness planner where yeah. I so it's more motivational mm -hmm. and like writing memories and bus but mostly like motivational stuff. So I feel like then I'd have to wipe that out. So instead of that, how about there's a couple of like little tape stickers and there's a couple of little clip stickers. So why don't we take some happy planner boxes? See these tape things and the clips and these little pins. So let's take some boxes and put those at the top of the boxes. It'll kind of look like this type of thing, but we're just gonna bring in some of those box stickers. All right, I couldn't really find colors of the boxes that were gonna coordinate super well with this, so I think I'm gonna go for silver or gold. There's silver. I think silver. Okay, so there's these size boxes, which I really like for journaling. And then there's like regular sizes like this. And then in the Colorful Boxes book, there are ones that are like bigger. Um, so let's start with a couple of the big ones. And we'll go from there. So let's grab this guy here and put it up here. I'm going to bring it down a little bit because like I said, I'm going to clip it or something at the top. Use something like that. Let's see. Not the green, because that's there. Probably pink. Is there a pink? No. I'm going to have to bring in this pink color somewhere. But for now, I guess we could bring in this color. It's really not the color I want. How about blue? I know there's a lot of blue now at the top of the page, but so we're just going to pretend that that's like clipped on the page. It's kind of cute, right? I think it's cute. And now we're going to grab another big, I don't think I have enough a room for another big one. I might have to move this guy. Hmm. I'm going to take this off and bring it up a little bit just so I have room for another big box because I like to like letter quotes in them or do some journaling in the big boxes so uh, and I know I've shown you guys this planner a couple of times with the after the pen only when the spreads really good and I think that like a lot of you ask me to do it but I don't like to share it that much because it's so super personal I mean do you want your diary shown to the world probably not so that's why I don't show it very often. But if it's not, if it's a week where like I look at it and I'm like, well, it's not that personal. Like I can kind of like plan ahead and sort of hide what I, not hide what I write, but like censor what I write, then it's, it's doable. So I will share it once in a while, but I don't share the after the pens very often on, on this planner just for that reason. Okay, how about this? I feel like there's purple here, but I feel like I don't want to bring in the purple. Okay, so we'll put that. Or should I use one of these clips? Let's see. I feel like that's not as cute because it's like you can see behind that and then you can't see the line. So let's do this one. All right, so we've got it really too symmetrical at this point, too symmetrical for my taste. So we need to bring in some other things that aren't so symmetrical just to, I wanna say just to balance it out, but really just to make it a little unbalanced, if that makes sense. So let's look in this, grab a couple of these, these size. I like, I really like this size box. It's like really functional for me in a lot of ways, so. Grab one of these, put it there. We'll grab another one and put it on the other side of the page. And again, I am being symmetrical again, I guess. It's kind of my go-to to be symmetrical, but 
And then we'll grab some smaller guys like these. Okay. And we're going to bring, where should I do it? Okay. So how about one there and one like there. We're going to layer that just for fun. I know that they're a little crooked. This one's a little too crooked for my taste. So let's go in and reposition. Hope you guys are having a good day. Right now it is Monday, um, the 27th, and I'm doing this a little bit late, but it's a very dreary day in Pennsylvania. And it's been dreary for like the last three days or so. It's cold, but not too cold. That's a plus anyway, but we have not had any big snow at all this winter. And I kind of am like, I, I'm not complaining because I love a mild winter, don't get me wrong, but I kind of would like just one big snow just for fun, you know, because if we go the whole winter without snow, that's kind of weird, at least for my area. Um, what are we going to do here? That's, hmm. I kind of don't want to fit it in the box because they're all overlapped, so let's look for something else. I could turn it this way, but... I feel like that's weird too. So why don't I take one of these bigger ones here and turn it this way? That makes more sense to me. Now let's go in with a couple of these clips again and see if they'll look good. Or how about the tape? Let's tape a couple of these up. Put this, this there, let's turn it around. No, like this. Okay, and then we'll use this one. Look, I used a whole sticker sheet. That's new. Okay. So over here, where do I want to put this? Maybe I move this down a little and put it here? I don't know. Crooked. I don't care. I don't care. All right, well that's really crooked too. Why am I such a perfectionist? I'm pretty sure most of you are too, or you probably wouldn't be watching a creative planning channel. Okay, I think I'm almost done. I think it's really kind of like busy and haphazard, but I kind of don't mind that. How about a couple of these little pins in just a few areas here? Um. There needs to be pink. Is Here's a pink pin, all right, cool. At least it brings it in a little bit so that that pink is not all by its lonesome. We're gonna place that right here like I'm just pinning that piece of paper onto my page. And then over here, do I wanna use yellow? No, I don't think so. I think I wanna use green or blue. I think I wanna use blue. Okay, let's, or I could use one of these tiny clips. Let me see. I could overlap it with the washi tape. I don't think I want to do that. Overlap this with that. No, I don't want to do that either. I'm gonna go back to my original plan and stick it here in this corner. I think that's pretty good, unless I brought it over a little. I know that these little details don't matter at all. That's better, I like that better. Okay, I think this is all I'm gonna do. I really like it. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. It's fun to do like a stationary theme every once in a while because we all love stationary. We're planners. We love all that kind of crap, right? I mean, how much more fun can you get than little cute stationary stickers? So check Coco Daisy out. There is a coupon code in um, the description box so you can get 10%, I think it's 10%. Am I losing my mind? Or maybe it's 20%. Might be 20. 
Anyway, I'm sorry. Look in the description box and it'll tell you the details about the coupon code so you can go get your own Coco Daisy stuff. I believe that this stuff may be sold out, this exact kit, but they have new cute kits every month and you can also get a subscription or you don't have to, but check them out. They're a really cool company. I like their stuff a lot. That's it for this week um, in my classic anyway, but I'll be back tomorrow for another video for you guys and uh, just stay tuned for Doodle of the Day. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. I'm out.